Yo, what is up, all you guys out there? The name is Second Heat, bringing you guys some Rocket League gameplay on the topic of Rocket League going competitive. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. This awesome, fun, playful game that has taken the world by storm is becoming a competitive game. Now, this was actually confirmed a while back. Um, sorry for actually not getting on this right away. Uh, I've actually been busy, and it kind of slipped my mind. I'm not going to lie. But a few days after its release, it was confirmed that Rocket League will be taking the competitive scene. Uh, MOG said that they're going to be putting it onto their competitive roster. And I think it was also uh, ESL. They're also going to put it their, their competitive roster. They're going to be doing 3v3s, at least at the moment. Some people are hoping for 2v2s. Uh, but at the moment, 3v3 is the standard. So I'm not surprised that they are going to put that in as their main competitive section but anyways rocket league becoming competitive good decision or bad decision in my opinion i believe this is probably one of the smartest decisions that mog or esl could have made because a game being so you know popular at the moment a game that everybody now knows of a game that nobody actually expected to be a thing till they played the game. I think this is the smartest decision. I, I would not have any other game. I would not have chosen any other game to become a competitor, especially when many people on the outside world are probably thinking, you know, why is esports a thing? Why is playing video games a competitive thing? Well, at least now we have a game that people on the outside world can kind of relate to which is soccer. Rocket League is obviously a soccer game that the players are actually RC like cars. So in a way you can kind of relate to this actually being a sport in real life, soccer, for example. So I like the fact that this is a thing. Um, I think people on the outside can finding it out, look at it and just be like, hey, this looks pretty fun. Rather than watching something like a MOBA or first person shooter is a bit more, um, more, I guess you can say acceptable to watch. I probably wouldn't say acceptable. I guess easier is the uh, term I would like to use something where you can just watch it and in a way not have to be a hundred percent knowledgeable of the game itself and know, like not know what's going on. Because when it comes to MOBAs, that's something I would ne I could never watch because I do not play MOBAs. I believe if I ever watched it, I would be clueless. If you watch a first-person shooter game like Counter-Strike or, say, Call of Duty, I believe it's a lot more easier to watch even for those who have never played the game as a whole. However, when it comes to Rocket League, people who have never played Rocket League or have played video games as a whole... As a whole could probably be more comfortable watching this because it is a soccer game and soccer is a real life sport and so people would probably be more you know it'll be more easier for the viewers to watch and seeing as how this is actually very very entertainingly fun i think it might even convert people to want to play video games even if it's not Rocket League, some people might just be like, you know, let me give this video game thing a shot because sadly there are people who think video games are a waste of time and that it is pointless to actually just play it. However, when they see games like this, they might be like, maybe it's not so bad. You know, I see a lot of people who are having a lot of fun with this, so why not give it a shot? And that's one of the reasons why I think uh, Rocket League should actually become an esport and why it probably is becoming one because it's actually going to be a lot better or a lot easier to help persuade people to come to the video game scene now i'm not saying that we're going to convert people 100 percent where they're just going to completely isolate themselves to video games i'm just saying that they'll probably have a different state of mind when they come to the topic of video games they'll actually have some more respect for it than what they do now now obviously one of the other reasons why rocket league is most likely becoming an esports is simply for more exposure even though this game has already been blowing up on twitch streams 
YouTube and any kind of social media out there, I still think just putting it in competitive scene will even make those eSport exclusive viewers just looking at it like, wow, I didn't expect this to actually become a big thing. Let me see what it's all about. And then they're going to get into it. And Rocket League is going to get more players out there. It's going to get a lot more exposure. A lot of people are going to want to play it more. And it's just going to be a lot better for the company and probably a more influence to for them to do more with the game. In fact, there is DLC coming out for this game. Now, I know many people are going to be like, uh, DLC, I, I do so believe that it is going to be paid content. <clears throat> However, there will be some free items in this DLC. But at the same time, though, I know we don't like DLC, but it's it's a thing in the 21st century, okay? This is something we have to deal with. But the good news is the people who created Rocket League, we now know that they're not just going to leave this game to how it is now. And I think the reason for that is because since we have made it so popular, since we have made it a thing, they are now having the motivation to do more with this game. And I think that even that once um, this is fully being taken on to esports, I believe that we're going to be having something even greater. We might be getting different game modes. We might be getting um, new, like, I probably won't say abilities because it's best to keep it simple. But we might be getting some new content to the game, new maps, which I know is being is coming in with the DLC, uh, different features, different cars. Anything is possible with this game. You know, this is something totally, I probably wouldn't say totally new, but this is something very new amongst many, many players. And that's something that I believe uh everybody who is playing this is looking forward to everyone's looking forward to what's going to be new with this game because i do not see this game dying out anytime soon so i know i've been rambling on for quite a long time but i just believe that this is a topic that just needs to be discussed on because it's something a lot of people probably didn't expect like rocket league if you went to just anybody a month ago nobody would know what the hell this game was nobody would have ever heard of it or anything but now that we know many people are wondering what's next and competitive is definitely where things are going i just hope that they don't pull a call of duty thing and just make everything just solely dedicated to competitive where all their moves, all their features, it's just like, oh, you have, like, if you don't have a competitiveness in you, then you're not going to be good at this game or something within that area. Yeah. Again, been talking way too long. Gameplay is coming to an end. We do win 8 to 3. I believe it's the final score. We have five seconds left. Yes, it's most likely going to be eight to three. We kind of spanked these guys so damn hard. It was so fun. Love Rocket League. Let me know how you guys feel about it. Should it be competitive or should it not be? Put it down in the comments down below. Until next time, this has been your boy, Chicken Heat, and I'm out. Peace.